I'm going to be showing you the five reasons to build with no code. And then at the end, I'm going to show you how to get started right now. Here are the five reasons. Number one, you can build your idea fast. Number two, you can validate your business idea by yourself. Number three, you don't have to spend months or years learning how to code. Number four, you can create mock-ups so your teams or your potential investors understand exactly your idea. Number five, you can be your own boss. Number one, we're going to be talking about how to build fast. You can do this in two different ways. I'm going to be showing you how to use it with Softer and Glide, but these are just two different examples that you can choose with no code. There are tons of other platforms, but there are very specific reasons why I use Softer or Glide when I'm just getting started with my own projects or with clients. With Softer, you can create a app within minutes using Softer and using the backend of Airtable. With Glide, you can create powerful apps within five minutes without any writing any code. You can use either the Glide tables or use Google Sheets or other backend providers in order to create your app. And I'm not lying. To show you this example, we've done it in live streams, all those things. I'm going to show you how you can start using a platform like Softer to, to bring your idea to life within five minutes. We're not going to cut anything right here. You see the timer right here. And we're going to get going. Now, to use Softer, I'm just going to be deciding on a use case. I can use it as a client portal, internal tools, marketplace, online community, resource directories, or website. Let me create a marketplace. Now, for instance, I could look at this and decide, hey, you know what? This is, I want to create a rental marketplace. I'm not too sure, um, you know, if it's going to really take off. But in my own area, there's not really an Airbnb or I want to create my own locally that have my own flares. I can sign up for Softer. And right now I'm just signing in. And once I sign in, I can go to new applications, click the button. And now I can decide on uh, what kind of template I want to use. I can pick a marketplace. And just like I mentioned right there, I'm thinking about creating some kind of uh, like Airbnb type of marketplace to see if I have any traction in my area. I click that button. And in just a few seconds, it's going to think about its life and then use that template to create this. Now, it's using the power of Airtable on top of this. So after I'm creating this, uh, using this template in creating my marketplace, then I'm going to connect it with Airtable. Now, right here, it's already doing all of the heavy lifting for me. It's already made the outline for me. Looks great. Okay. And if I need to do anything when it comes to the database or anything like that, Wait a minute, it's already set everything up for me because I've already connected my um, Airtable account and now it did all of the heavy lifting, creating my pages and all of those things like that. We just saw it was a countdown of five minutes. So we had three minutes left. So less than two minutes, we got everything started in softer and now I can get started with my idea. <laughs> That's how simple it is to use a platform like this. You saw it right here. We didn't change the speed or anything like that. Okay, now let's take a look at like something like Glide, right? Let's change it out. Let's just do a stopwatch. If I want to do something with Glide, remember you have to make sure that you have a Gmail account. That way it, it allows you to log in and everything like that. And especially if you're using Google Sheets, it needs to have approval from Google Drive to make all the connection for you to be able to do that. So creating a Gmail account, that would be the best. So let's get started. We're going to see how fast we can create something with Glide. So I start the stopwatch. For here, what I usually do is browse a template to get started because I work better if I have some kind of, you know, template before. So like, say for instance, I want to create like a, a task management uh, app. So right here, Glide created a company and task project. I can go right here and it says copy app for free. All right, so it's going to think about its life. I don't think I'm signed in right now, so it's going to have to sign in in a moment. Okay, oh, so it says owner Doc Williams. I'm going to say copy. And we also featured this uh, company and task project. 
um, in one of our other videos. There'll be a link somewhere down below, depending on uh, what we're looking at right here. And then that will give us all of that stuff. But right here, we are now, it copied into my account. I have the database and the different, um, you know, the different pages already set up, the different tables set up already because it just copied it over. I have the display right here. I can go over, make edits, add things to the pages, all of those things. I can insert components and I can make overall changes of the app by the title of the app, the colors, all of those things uh, by right here. I could change the colors real quick, whatever I wanted to, and I'm good to go. So let's take a look at the time. One minute, 38 seconds to decide on an app, go in and decide what I want to do. In the comment section down below, let me know what kind of app you're trying to build or what kind of idea that you have in your head that you've been waiting to execute, but you just didn't know where to start. Let me know in the comment section what you're trying to do. Number two, validating your idea. You can use no code instead of trying to build extensive websites and decide how to launch it. You can just use something like Notion to decide, do people even want your idea? But basically Notion is great. It's very diverse. You can build anything you want, really. You can add databases, you can have a lot of different integrations, or you can just use it for project management, tasks, or creating a glorified Google Docs with tons of different integration. It just looks better than Google Docs, honestly. This is an example of one of our MVBs, our minimal viable builds, where we create bite-sized starter kits for people to create businesses. This one is business clarity in a box because a lot of people have trouble with uh, deciding which idea they should go through. So we put this page up and saw if people are interested. So it's systems and processes to launch now. That's what we use with Notion. We looked at what was going on, what people were looking for, and then we just added a buy here button right here. And then we were able to validate. Before we had the buy button, we just had people sign up to a form if they're interested or just give their email address to decide if, if they wanted to hear about this product later on. Once we found out that people were trying to buy, we tested pricing and then we had this. Again, Instead of us worried about, hey, we've got to get a domain name, we've got to set up a WordPress site, we just wanted to move fast and agile, that's why we use no code and that's why we use Notion. If you're thinking about an idea and maybe you're thinking about like, I've got to finish my entire app, I've got to finish my entire idea, think about using a concise landing page or a builder like Notion to test out your idea before you're spending months or years building out a whole platform, you've got to see if people are interested in your product beforehand. Number three, no coding required. As we're showing all these different examples, not one of these do you need to have the skills of coding. Now, if you're trying to integrate or have different things work in your app, perhaps you might need some kind of coding. But again, that usually has to do with advancement, with APIs or things like that. For the basics of a lot of these projects, you don't need to learn how to code. It's just not a requirement. So instead of spending months trying to learn how to code, going on Udemy or Coursera to learn these skills, you can now focus on what kind of business or project you're trying to create and then utilize no code to get started today. Number four, mock-ups. A lot of times when you're trying to explain an idea or a concept to someone, especially an app or an advanced project, if you don't have something in front of someone, perhaps your business partner or your team just might not understand what you're talking about or why they think it's important. Using Figma allows you to connect with your teams and simultaneously work on the same project. Think about like, Google Docs or Google Sheets where they're taking it like a one player to multiplayer in a few seconds. That's what Figma allows you to do. Now, Figma is not the only one. If you're looking at platforms like Sketch and Supernova, they also give you the ability to bring your idea to life visually. Sketch has come a long way and there's so many different things you can be doing with this. But again, if you're trying to create an app or a storyline with what you're thinking about with your app or your platform, this is another good choice. And the sleeper hit that has been around and they just keep getting better and better is supernova.io. This allows you to build out what you're thinking visually, but on the back end, you can actually export the code. So if you're working with a team, they now 
have the code at their disposal to build on to whatever you're trying to do with your team. They just came up with an update and it's free to get started. If you're interested, make sure you check out supernova.io. I've been checking on them for the last, I would say about three years. Their iterations, they keep getting better and better. I'm interested in seeing all of their new advancements. If people are interested in Supernova or this is something you're interested in, let me know in the comment section down below. I might do some more videos talking about Supernova, but there are another sleeper hit that you could be thinking about when you're trying to create your mock-up. And number five, your independence. Creating with no code, you no longer need to necessarily have to work with a developer or have to work with a CTO to bring your creation to life. No code allows you to focus on what you're trying to express and you can create that MVP, that minimal viable product without the need of outsourcing it or if you're thinking about creating a startup, necessarily needing a technical founder at the beginning or to get started. You can be taking your industry by storm by yourself if you're utilizing no-code tools. In the comment section down below, let me know what you're trying to create, what no-code project you have in store. And if you're new, let me know because we have tons of resources to get you started with the right kind of platform that works for you. If you like these kind of videos, make sure that you like and subscribe. We do this every single week. And in the next video, you're gonna be seeing some of the no-code platforms that I love from this year.